This is Ajay for Tech Primers. In this video, we are going to see the second example of using Spring Data Elasticsearch using the Query DSA. If you see the first example, we would have seen uh, using the Spring JPA. So now, right now, I'll show you how to use Spring, um, how to use using Query DSA. So the previous example was provided by Spring. So Spring um, actually has a very good way of uh, representing the repositories from the JPA concept. So Elasticsearch. So for that as well, Spring has created an Elasticsearch repository which has wrapped in a similar fashion so you can query the data uh, in a similar way. So but uh, Elasticsearch has provided, so if you see the documentation which I have right now, so this is the documentation from the Elastic website. So they are providing some APIs with which we can directly query the Elasticsearch. So that is what we are going to see today. So if you see here, this is the uh, code base which we had seen, which we created as a part of the example one. So I give a, I will give the link for this particular GitHub project in the description below. You can download that and get started. So I'll just go ahead and create um, a new resource for us so that we can directly query using the query DSA. So I'm going to create something called a manual search resource. So this is going to be a REST endpoint which with, with which you, when we hit the REST endpoint, it's going to search the elastic search uh, using the query DSA. So I'll make this a REST controller. I'll say request mapping is uh, REST slash manual search. Okay, now I'll go ahead and write a REST mapping. Same the text with which we will do this search. So what we are going to do is we are going to give the list of users. So I'll create a search query builder class with which we will say data all and we are going to pass the text. I'm going to say part of the day manual search. I'm going to create this manual search query builder. create this particular class under the builder package so I'll create do app component data element and then here what do we need is we need the um, elastic search template with which we will be querying so I'll create elastic search template so this is the object with which we'll be querying the elastic search okay so we, what we have done here is we have created a method, right? So let's go ahead and create this one. Okay. So in order to create the uh, query DSL, so what we need is a query builder. So we need to create a query builder. So if you see here the input, this is coming from the ORG plus Elasticsearch, right? So this is coming from the Elasticsearch jar, not from the Spring jar. I'll do a query builder. So query builder is if you see here in front of me, it's an abstract class. So there is a implementation called the native query builder. So we are going to use that. And then we are going to say what kind of query we are going to use. So we are going to say with query. Thank you. So we need to this create this particular query. Okay. So that is nothing but another query builder. See here. And then we are going to say builder. So once we do a build, it will do a build of that query builder. So now what we are going to do here is we are going to create a Boolean query. So there is something called query builders. If you see here, this particular class provides lots of uh, functionalities or the DSLs. So if you see the elastic documentation, so there are different types of query builders. 
Okay, so the, under the query builders package, we have different types of DSA with which we can uh, customize our query. So what we are going to do is we are going to create a bool query. Okay, and I'm going to say that it should match. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is so there is something called query string. So in the query builders, something called query string query. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass the text with which we're going to search. And there are different um, DSL. So I'm going to say mean and true. And also we need to set the fields under which it is going to search. So for example, here I need to search the fields which are under my entity. So whatever we loaded here in this project was a user's entity. And that user has name, ID, team name and the salary. So what we need to do is we need to provide the fields with which we are going to search. So I'm going to manually provide name and team, team name here. So I'm going to say name. Same way I'm saying give me from team name also. So what we are doing here is we are going to tell Elasticsearch that search in these two fields for this particular text. So that is what we are doing here. I'm going to close this shoot. So I'm going to add one more query. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say that query builders dot query string. Also I'm going to add the wildcard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to enclose this particular text with the star in the front and back. So what this will do is this will search the text inside a, inside a particular name or a uh, team name. So for example, my team name is let's say technology tech. And if somebody's name is having tech, then that also can be searched if we add the star here. Okay. So under this we have to again provide the the lenient option, the lenient true. Also, I will provide the field names. So, field I am providing as name and the team name. Okay, so my query is ready. So, what we have done is we have created a query which provides the text for searching the string under these two fields. So, that is what this is all about. And the second one is like we are wildcarding it so that it can search across a particular name. So it will not do a direct uh, exact match, it can do a um, wildcard match. So that is why we are providing this star. Okay. So once it is done, so now we are we have created a native query. Okay, so now what we are going to do is we are going to use this particular object to query. So there is a query for list option. So we are going to say that I am going to query using the option which I provided and I need an entity which is nothing but users.class. So what I have done here is I am going to say that this is my query. Query for query elastic search with this particular um, query builder or the query DSL which we created and return me the list of this users. So you are saying query for list and then this is the users. So I'm going to create a outside here. So, so this is if you see here, this is nothing but list of users. And we are going to return the, this particular users list here. So what we are if you see here, what we are doing is initially we are creating a query using the query builders so we are going to say that uh, use this and this so search for uh, that particular text under name and team name same way you are adding a wildcard for the same text whatever we are searching and then merge these two okay so that is what we are doing here and we are enclosing that into something called native search query builder and then we are giving that to the template for querying the elastic search and then returning the list of users so once the users comes here we are directly pushing it to the REST response. So let me start this particular 
server and then we can hit the rest URL and we can see what it is written. So that is rest manual search and then let this guy come up. So Spring Boot application is starting. So what this does is if you if you have seen my the previous video, it uses the configurations in, under the Elasticsearch config and creates an Elasticsearch instance and um, it injects some values using the loads. If you see loaders, I have uh, given some uh, names here. I think we can add a few more. So before that, let's query and then we'll add few more and then we can check from there. So this will be available in the local host. So this is the endpoint which we added, right? So let's say I'm going to search for accounts. Okay. So what's happening? There is an error which is saying none. So my search query builder is null because I didn't do a auto query here. That is why. So let's restart our elastic search. So did we do any error mistake? Control P. Whatever is whatever is the company. Okay. I think hopefully it doesn't fail again. Let's see. Okay. Elastic search is up now. Let's do the search. Okay. So once I search for account, it has returned the data for all these URLs is it hidden or is it because I, I think I loaded the elastic search with these values so it has uh, got all those values again if you see here uh, in the loaders I don't have these values but I had previously loaded this particular project with that with those values so it has come now again I don't know if it's a browser issue or elastic search issue so if you see here this is the data which I loaded previously just to check out so if you see here uh, there are one two three four four records which match for accounting so when I search for account it has matched all the accounting team names and it has identified so let's say now uh, let's search for the tech because I have I have created a user called techie and then I have um, other people who are under the tech team name so right now it will search across the name and team name so that is what we are going to search so I will say tech so if you see here it has returned the people from the team name tech and also it has returned the name which was matching for tech okay so if you if I will reiterate it again so what we have done in this particular example is we have created the search query DSL with which Elasticsearch is allowing us to do manual query on the Elasticsearch instance. So if you see the previous example, Spring provided something called uh, Spring Data Elastic. So using that we can easily use the JPA kind of concept called the Elasticsearch repository and we can override the methods and we can directly query the Elasticsearch. However, Elasticsearch in itself provides this kind of DSL with which we can manually create queries and then we can manually create these builders, builder patterns and then we can query the Elasticsearch instance via that. So there are lots of, apart from these query string and um, uh, these options, there are lots of other options like match, match all, if you see match all, match page, play, match, match query, multi-match, there are different other options. But I have just uh, showed you one particular example of how to create it. But this is how you will uh, create for any any particular pattern. So you have to provide a field so that it searches across that particular field. And then for wildcarding, you can use this type of option. So that's it from this video. Meet you again in the next video. Thank you.